Hi, thanks so much for dropping by. My name is Jenny, and if you I haven't stopped by before, I am a thrifter, and I am taking you along on my adventure as I open up my first resale booth. If you have stopped by before, thanks for coming back again. Um, <laughs> usually, I sit down and show you everything that I um, picked up at a at one of my thrift trips, but this was such an epic trip. I was actually thinking, how am I gonna show all these items to you? So I put everything down on my dining room table and I think this time I'm gonna just take you around with me and show you all of the items that I picked up. So um, here, I'm gonna get out of the way real quick. It is a lot. My dining room table is full and my booth is called um, Delightful Eclectic Nook. And looking in this collection, I definitely have lived up to the hype of the word eclectic. So let's... Um, I'll take you down and show you everything I found. Okay, it is a little weird to me to be showing you my items through this angle, but like I said, this was the only way I could really figure out how to make this all work. So I picked up some items at an auction, and one of the lots that I won were all of these vintage like bathroom accessories. We live in a rural area, a lot of older homes, so I'm hoping that this is something that buyers will be interested in. Unfortunately, there are a lot of items that don't match, but like I think some of these would actually just look cool sitting like on a bathroom shelf by themselves as just interest pieces. So moving over to the other lot that I won, I found in the box these two old I guess they're like nut choppers of different varieties I do love the red so let me show this to you I like how this one has the measuring um, marks on there and then a a potato is it a potato ricer is that what this is called so that's a cool item and boy this one is heavy and then I think this is actually a pastry wheel I don't think this is a pizza cutter and just a little wooden I don't know what would you use this for a little wooden masher and this item I believe this is a railroad light. See, there's a light bulb on the bottom. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, there's a little damage here on the wrap on the handle. I just thought this was really interesting. I mean, it was in the lot, so it wasn't like I had a choice whether or not to pick it up. In the town we live in, we have uh, many, many trains come through. In fact, we have an um, old depot that's on the historic register, and our small microbrewery is actually called Distant Whistle. So maybe that's something that um, somebody in our town would be interested in picking up. So that was everything from the auction. The Goodwill in this town I stopped at, and I found this really cool lampshade i don't really have a lamp to go with it but i love this shape and i've been looking for one like this because i have seen where they take off all the material and kind of let it um, um just pieces of it kind of stick onto the wire frame for a really cool shabby chic look or i've seen where they have um wrapped it with different pieces of material. So not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but um, I just, like I said, loved, loved the shape. I mean, some of the glue is showing, so this is a great piece to do that with. I'm gonna put this down on the ground because it keeps falling. And then one of my favorite YouTubers, Ginger Chick Rehab, she swears on picking these up. She says they sell really quickly and she has done just amazing makeovers to these wooden candelabras. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a makeover, if I'm going to try to just put it in the booth as is. But um, I trust her. I'm sure that you all watch Ginger Chick Rehab as well. And then 
this great little bench or side table. I'm not sure exactly what it was. This thing was a solid wood. There is a crack here, but that's very easy to fix. So this is a makeover piece. I might sand it down first and see what the wood looks like before I determined my next step. But gosh, I think this was, yeah, this was a steal at $6.29. <laughs> and then I have to laugh because one of um, my viewers, Suzanne, asked me, do you ever buy anything for yourself? <laughs> and I did pick up a pair of shoes last week. And one thing that I picked up was this great file box. I was actually looking for a box. Look, the key is still here. But this 1970s green wood faux metal filing box for like all of my paperwork. So I was actually going to go and try to find something at Office Max. But it's like this, this. I think sums up exactly my style perfectly. It's a little weird, it's a little funky, and it would be appropriate that I keep my paperwork in something that's thrifted. So really excited to find this. I mean, look, even the sticker is still on it. I don't think this was ever used. And then at the Goodwill, I found this beautiful hand-painted pen. It was hand-painted by Opal. And you can see, I think this is a hobbyist piece because my mom used to be a ceramic teacher. And when you put items in the kiln, you put them on little spikes so they don't stick. And these actually have those little spike marks. So I thought she was just a happy little chubby hen. Couldn't pass her up. And then I also found these two cups. And I also believe these might be hobbyist piece because they had the marks. It's hard to see, but they also had the marks underneath. But I just love the subtle colors. Those would look great in anybody's kitchen. And this, <laughs> this Goodwill, I was at a few weeks ago and I picked up three rolls of this shelf liner and they actually had a fourth roll left. So I grabbed that. We are in the process of remodeling our kitchen. So um, I wanna start out my kitchen cabinets and drawers, wanna protect them, so I had to get that. Then I found these cute little two succulent owls. I love the colors. Probably gonna hold off on um, these, putting them in my booth until like January, February. I was thinking about that time, it would be fun to do a um, like just cozy kind of vignette where everything's muted, neutral, and just kind of a cozy feeling. There are holes on the bottoms, but you know, these, these could probably also be cute little um, candle holders. And then I loved this little bunny. Let's just put this up here too. I love this little bunny. It is just an Avon piece, but it is hand painted in Brazil. And I just love the little like puppy dog eyes this bunny is giving off. So we'll hold on to that until next year. And speaking of rabbits, I usually don't pick up Ray Dunn but this is the Hip Hop Bunny Mug. I know this is a good one to pick up. And it was Red Tag Day. I was on the fence about this, but this was half off. So that was, I think, a sign to go ahead and pick up a Ray Dunn Mug. And I have a few like vintage baby items. And when I found this sweet little planter, she, she's not worth a lot but she's in excellent shape. I mean, look, even all her little fingers are there. So I thought maybe if I plant this with a couple like small little plants and put this in my booth, someone would love it as a gift to give to somebody um, to celebrate a newborn. And then sometimes you just get a really good feeling about something. This, is a mid-century modern Indiana glass green, I don't know if it's like a bowl or a candy dish, but this thing was so heavy. And I just 
had a good feeling about this piece, so I'm glad I grabbed this. My vignette this month is green, so if I sell out of a few items, I have some backup that I can um, fill in if there's any holes or empty spaces in my booth. These mugs, they're L.L. Bean, I believe it's called the Winter Heritage Collection, but they were all in excellent shape, and we know L.L. Bean is very collectible. I mean, people are loyal to L.L. Bean, so this I'm going to hold off into winter, of course. And this I'm hoping to get your help with. Um, I was kind of on the fence, and it was red tag, so I thought, yep, yeah, let's go ahead and pick this up. But, um, I mean, it's a very strange shape. I'm almost wondering if there's another piece to this. But it is called Vernell of California. I'm not able to find much online about Vernell of California. So if you know anything about this piece of pottery, I was able to find other pieces by the same maker, but they were more um, kitschy, like jungle pieces or peanuts like candy dishes so i mean this is kind of an ordinary little piece but i do love that deep green so if you know anything about that please let me know okay i'm not sure if i like filming from this angle let me know what you think if you want me to go back to sitting down and picking up each item and showing it to you but um i just decided to try something different because i had so many items here but I picked up these cat's meow pieces. They um, they like recreate historical buildings. These are all from the University of Michigan. Like we have the Yost Field House, the Art Museum, President's Hall. But these are all from the 90s. And I am in Michigan, University of Michigan. Love them or hate them or hate to love them. Love to hate them, <laughs> however you feel about them. We'll see how these do. We do have a lot of U of M alumni in my area. And then I just picked up this kind of cheap little frame. Oops, see how cheap it is? <laughs> but this is more for display item. Oh, okay, hopefully it'll stay up in my booth. But to explain like, okay, we're just gonna leave it down. Oh, I just realized it's broke. The little clip is broke. So I'm glad I didn't spend much for that. Then I found this little sh um, shade. And I was so excited to find this one. I found others in the store. Um, I'm looking for a shade. I don't know if you remember this lamp that I had picked up from the Goodwill bins, but I had wanted a shade. I don't have a light bulb on here, but for this piece or this section of the lamp, I just thought that would really kind of, I don't know, finish this lamp off properly. So I was so happy to find this. I paid 99 cents for this. So we'll just stick it on there. But I love, I just love this lamp. I'm going to have to talk myself into reselling it. So we'll come back over to the table. This piece, I wasn't sure what it was, but I knew it was something special. It is a 1969 Terra Santa, I believe is the name. Um, it was a piece of a door knocker. This is heavy brass. And I mean, it's just beautiful. 99 cents. And the actual, there was like a door knocker that went around it that obviously is missing, but I just love the colors of that. This is the piece stuff. And of course I picked up a book um, for display. I, like this, um, I don't know if you've watched any other videos. Oops, sorry about that. If you've watched any other videos, but I am going to have a theme of um, Americana summer. So I thought that would just be a pretty display piece, especially with the title all summer long. And I found, you're gonna be shocked if you watch me, you know I buy a lot of frames, I don't buy a lot of artwork. I actually bought some pieces of artwork for the art or frames for the art. This, I can't stand the frame, but I'm thinking if I sand it down and just paint it black to leave this as is. I mean, this is multiple matting. And if you've ever had anything custom matted, you know how expensive it is. So I'm thinking by painting this like a matte black, it will update this whole um, this whole picture. And then this, I love the colors, but I don't like the kind of cheap frame. And I can't tell if the matte's dirty or if the glass is dirty, but I thought 
this picture in this frame, we'll go side by side. In this frame, maybe painted a navy blue would really pop that picture. That picture or that little piece of artwork just, it's not doing it justice in the white on white. And then this item I picked up, I think it's supposed to be like a canvas. I mean, look how thick it is with the rivets. But I thought this would actually look nice as a, let's come over here, like as a lifter to put items on top because this is pretty solid. But I just thought, you know, as a, instead of using books, this would be an interesting option for like your shelf sitters. So let's come back over to this section. Actually, I'm gonna to skip to these cups real quick. The Hope Cafe in Cold Water is a great little place. Um, of course, they have like coffee and, and sandwiches and their proceeds help victims of domestic um, abuse. And they also have a cute little boutique in there. I found these two cups and they're actually Homer Laughlin, I believe it's called the um, Harlequin blue flat color mugs that I love. They're almost like an art deco handle. I think those were amazing. I got a great deal on those and I love the blue. I just, I'm very drawn to blue. So um, th that was the only item that I picked up besides an excellent iced caramel coffee to get me through the rest of the afternoon. Uh, this section here are items that I picked up at the museum gallery. Uh, Tom owns the business. He's owned the business for 30 years and he is going out of business. So everything in the store until like fall is 70% off. He's got a lot to liquidate. So if you're in the Coldwater area, please swing by his store. Tell him I sent you. Oh, just a great man. Um, the store was his second job. He also worked somewhere else for years and when he sells everything, he is going to retire and do some traveling. But I couldn't say no to this. I think it's a Sabella. Um, this is Fisherman's Wharf plate, but I love the little fish. Look how happy he is. And it's kind of not a good thought you think about it. I hope he's not happy to be like seeing his other friends on the plate. <laughs> and then this great green bottle, look how good this big this is. This is an amazing bottle. Um, I picked this up. I actually have a blue bottle about this size right now in my booth with some dried hydrangeas. And I'm thinking I might swap it out and put some hydrangeas in this bottle and put this bottle up for sale first since my current vignette is green. And then I had to pick up all of these little chicks on sticks. These are like a ceramic, but look how cute these are. I just knew if I didn't grab these in this trip, they would be gone. I plan on going back. I was overwhelmed. I didn't, I've never been inside the store before. So I had no idea what to expect. And I mean, it was just an amazing store. This is some federal glass little um, fridgy. This was an excellent shape. There are no chips on it. Then I had to pick up, he had these like marked down to almost nothing. Just a little baggie of Michigan Land of Hospitality buttons. So, I don't know. We'll see how those do. But it's not like I'm out a lot of money. This is for me. It's a Meekin Ironstone soap dish. And much to my husband's chagrin, I keep talking about remodeling our bathroom next year after we <laughs> remodel the kitchen and I kind of get inspired by the strangest things when I remodel or redecorate and I can kind of see this as the jumping off point for the entire bathroom remodel. I know it's crazy but that's how I think. And then this milk pitcher I could not say no to. I love the like rural <laughs> scene on the on the front. And this was from the American Dairy Association of Michigan. And it's kind of funny that I picked up something with this kind of sharp handle because the mugs have that sharp handle. 
It's usually not my wheelhouse, but I just fell in love with it. Then the last items I'm gonna show you are from the big, wait, how does this go? Good, good Better Best thrift store in Coldwater, which supports local educational endeavors. And I was shocked to walk in. They must have had someone donate their collection of salt and pepper shakers. There were so many there. Many were like souvenir pieces from someone's vacation travels. I didn't know how those would go over. So these were 50% off. So I just had to grab a whole bunch that kind of spoke to me. And then the other thing I picked up there was this bunny like little teapot it was made in Taiwan but you know these usually are so delicate there's like usually chips or something in the paint this was in really good shape so it's kind of funny that I um picked up so many bunny items this year and we're this, you know we're quite a ways away from Easter so these will just be um set aside in storage for a while but let me do let's do a close-up of some of these oh then we'll skip over here real quick and I just found these candles I just love the color kind of like a very muted gold for a dollar couldn't say no I was afraid those were going to melt though on my way home because it was so warm so let's just go through real quick and we'll show you these salt and pepper shakers these I thought were so <laughs> strange <laughs> like covered wagon from the 1950s, I don't know if there was like a resurgence of um, West exploration in the 50s, but I love that you can even see like the settlers on the front of these covered wagon salt and pepper shakers. I just um, kind of went through the whole giant shelf and picked things that spoke to me. I love, let me show you these. Little hen, actual hen and rooster. It's not like rooster and rooster, hen and hen. Salt and pepper shakers. And what I loved about these is that the holes are actually like in their mouths, not on top. I could not find anything online about these. So if you know anything about these interesting little fellas, that's not a chip. That's just like a glaze. Um, the glaze didn't touch or take to the ceramic. If you know anything about those, let me know. And then I loved these pig, their magnetic kissing pig salt and pepper shakers. Those were too cute to say no to. And are these squirrels? Are they skunks? What would you call these? And I also picked up ones. Oh, these ones that didn't have the corks. Most of them all had like their original corks in, which you could tell like how old they were. Look at the corks. These were some that I also could not find anything about online. I love like the black and almost like rosy red. That The fact that it came with a little holder. If you know anything about these salt and pepper shakers, they're made out of like a, a tin. They're like a tin material. If you know anything about these, please educate me. I'd love to hear your thoughts or your knowledge. Please share your knowledge with me. <laughs> then these cats, I think they're cats, like Siamese cats. These to me looked extremely old. I don't know, you know, some of these, I don't know if I'd actually would put my salt and pepper in. They're more for display, but I loved these long neck cats. And then Mr. and Mrs. Chef, I love the expressions. She's all like calm and collected and he's going all Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen. But these are wood. They almost, I don't know, they almost look like, like a Campbell's soup item. I don't know, that's just my thought, but I just love their little differences in their expressions. Okay, these I thought were salt and pepper shakers, these old little chipmunks, but <laughs> There are no holes on the bottom. There are no holes on top. So I think they're just two little cute um, figurines. I think these might have been hearts at one time that have faded. Again, cannot find anything out about these little critters. If you know anything about them, please let me know in the comments. So I thought I bought salt and pepper shakers, but apparently I did not. 
these, I love these oversized wooden sheep and vegetables. Someone must have um, enjoyed salt much more than they did pepper because salt is a little worn. Pepper looks to be in pretty good shape. But these, I got a lot of compliments on these as I was checking out. And then the last item I'm gonna share with you, I'm so excited about this. If you watched a previous video, I actually picked up the salt and pepper shaker from an auction and I was so excited when I walked into the store not only were the salt and pepper shaker there but the egg plate was there as well now I will admit there is a chip on the bottom but it's on the bottom I've had so many people like do a sneak peek of the booth space and they've complimented they picked out for some reason how much they love these little chickens so I was excited to find like the whole set. So that was the haul from my epic thrift trip. So fill up the comments. Should I go back to sitting down and showing you the items one by one? Or do you like this like round table reveal of the items that I picked up? Let me know what you prefer and I'll either um, stick to my old format or I'll move to this new format. Anyway, I'd love, also love to hear um, your comments, feedback, if there's the, some items I should have left on the shelf, or if you know any more about the items that I was stumped on and couldn't really find too much information about. Would really appreciate a subscribe or like, and until next time, thanks so much for joining me.